bright eyed and bushy tailed mate. Let's check the time. 448. Alright. Gotta leave in 10 minutes. As you can see the bike's nice packed up. Kind of. I'm gonna quickly get this sorted. And then um gotta get on the road, eh? Let's go. Let's check the temperature. 11 degrees. <laughs> It's 11 degrees far out. So today I'm going to meet up with dad on the highway, Wild Horse Lookout, just south of Sunshine Coast. And then today we're gonna to make our way all the way down to the Hunter Valley. So that's why I'm leaving so early. We're gonna be in Newcastle by this afternoon, by the Arvo. We're gonna try and not do just highway today. We're gonna to try and dodge it, come off the highway, go inland a little bit, come back out. We'll see what we can find anyway. Look, got a big backrest, mate. This is gonna be comfy as. I got made sure my I bought a full-size pillow this time. Full-size pillow. Cause yeah, last time was air pillows suck, man. It's gonna be pretty cold down south. We don't know if we're camping every night yet. We're gonna see see how we go. But yeah, we might get a motel once or twice. But I think tonight we're gonna to stay at G Dad's. He's been on the channel before, so. Oh, sorry, we're meeting up with G Dad and my cousin. Um, they're gonna ride back with us from Nabiak, the motorcycle museum. So anyway, let's get on the bike. Let's bloody go, mate. Gonna freeze me bloody testicles off, mate. They're gonna recede. <laughs> oh, new addition. <laughs> what the bloody hell is that? Chilly, bro. <laughs> Fuel check, $2.02 two a litre. That's not too bad. <laughs> What's going on? Morning. Where's your coffee, man? Yeah, I need to put one in there. <laughs> Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Fresh morning. The old boy's here. Oh, he's Kato. Get it up, the weapon. KTM. <laughs> I can't hear, am I yelling? <laughs> no, it's all oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I had to put earplugs in for this trip. Oh, yeah. 1290 Super Adventure. He's probably would have seen this when I did the Pan America videos. The last big trip we went on down to Bathurst, Canberra, all that. Dad took the Harley, so he's bringing the adventure bike this time. This is where he's most at home, so. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be fun. The Harley's mostly like a, a work bike. <laughs> yeah, workhorse. You look warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't so warm. Yeah. <laughs> Let me take these out so I can hear you, bloody hell. Beautiful morning, man. Yeah, it is. How good's that? Like, look, at the, look at the sky, bro. It's like so clear good. as. It's, yeah. Sun's coming up over here. I don't think there's going to be a cloud today, I don't know. It's hard to tell, I don't want to jinx it, but <laughs> maybe, maybe. How's the tyre pressure? Yeah, good. good. They're 36, 36. <laughs> oh, on. yeah, no. Dad's got tyre pressure monitors, <laughs> I don't, but I don't think I want to tell him what my tyre pressures were no, that, no. last maybe. week. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't checked them for a long time. Um, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I don't think Dad likes my cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> it's different, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just jealous. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. It comes with this coffee mode. Hey, coffee holder. Uh, <laughs> sponsored by McCafe for this one, I reckon. It's actually not that bad. It's kind of lukewarm, but it actually tastes pretty good. You like luke and warm. Oh, that's <laughs> just like that. Get this in there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> well, yeah, I've gone full, full grandpa spec for this trip, mate. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to settle over your jacket while we're riding yeah. along. <laughs> oh, if that happens, I'm yeeting the thing, mate. You'll see me, I'll, yeah. I'll lose it. That thing's going. Oh, uh, it's like the truck driver's apple juice on the side of the road. Yeah. 
driver's apple juice. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, they get the green containers, they fill them up, throw them out. Yeah. Don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to try this thing out. So something so stupid, but that's why I got the modular kind of thing to give that a crack. <laughs> Let's roll. church dude holy wow that church is massive all right here we are lismore first stop get some fuel awesome i left him on at five to meet up with him at 5 30 and then um yeah that's a big ride yeah <laughs> yeah oh awesome the bloody modular helmet's going good very good <laughs> just open up chill out cool down look at this day though i 
I know I've already said it, but what a day. The scenery around here, there's a road that goes, you turn off the highway um, like you're gonna go to Byron and then chuck a right and it comes up all along this beautiful countryside and leads into Lismore here. Man, and look at this church. It's probably the biggest church I've ever seen in my life. Look at that thing. Crazy. I wonder how old that is. Cause yeah, that's uh, it's pretty huge. <laughs> Bikes looking good, all loaded up. Ah, tires are all right. She's still pretty clean. Awesome. How's the ride, big horse? Good man. Yeah, it's good. Nice. How nice is that bloody uh, countryside, oh, Dewey? That's so green, eh? Hey? It's amazing, actually. It's yeah. Oh, it I'm is. gonna get plenty of water down here. Most of this is underwater when it rains. <laughs> True, true. Yeah, they get plenty of water. Usually underwater. Oh, uh, Dad knows all the good roads, so I just follow him most of the time. <laughs> Heck yeah, where are we off to now? Through Casino, through Grafton, and the back way into um, down through into Coffs. Back Casino, way. Casino, Grafton, Coffs. Yeah, yeah, and then on the highway, unfortunately, slab it down. Awesome. Ah, yeah, oh, cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Here we are. So this is Sean and Kylie. Anyway, I'm here at their favorite cafe. <laughs> but um, yeah, these guys went around Australia and seen the big things on their trike with their family of four. So, which is pretty wild. Um, anyway, I'll get you to tell us a bit about that and like what majors want to do that and uh, how it's all started, I guess. Well, um, so we wanted to go around Australia, right? And we'd wanted to do it for ages and we just happened to have a trike and so my wife, Kylie, she just said, um, well, if you want to go around Australia, why don't we do it on the trike? So yeah. that's why we chose it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. And we thought we'd turn it into a mission. So we thought, let's find all the big things mm. in Australia. Yeah, so we saw over 100 big things, you know, over wow. 20,000 Ks in 94 days. Yeah. Over 20,000 Ks yeah. in 94 days. Yeah. yeah. That's mental. It was hectic. It and was really crazy. We broke down for six days on the Nullarbor and we also rolled our trailer That's upside crazy. down. Yeah. And that was about the worst of it. Rolled the trailer. Yeah. That was about the worst. Or, or we did get like some pretty crazy weather. Yeah. Down south, but yeah, it was it was amazing. It was awesome. That's nuts. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And I have to. I'll try and upload it. I'll show you a photo of the trike with them all sitting on it. It's actually crazy. Four four people on it. it was yeah. <laughs> bloody wild all the way around Australia. Over a hundred big things. That's what actually started the idea for me to go see the big things. So I'll try and see some on this trip as well, and see heaps of other stuff. But um, <laughs> I want Sean. And Kylie did tell me about this other trip they did on the little 250. <laughs> and I think, do you have a photo of that? Yeah. And I'll get a photo of that as well. Oh, tell, tell us a bit about that. Uh, the little, the trip on the little bike. So yeah, we wanted to visit some friends in um, Queensland about um, about 400 k's away. And we hopped on it out, got a little 1985 Honda CBX 250. Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to see a photo of it. We hopped on that and rode it to their place, like a round trip, all the back roads, doing maybe, we don't know how fast, maybe 70k an hour. Yep. Couldn't see because we had a big bag tied on the front on the tank <laughs> and we had a, Kylie had a backpack on as well. And huge. my seat was like that big. Uh, <laughs> it so it was, was like, like a oh, thousand so kilometre round trip yeah. <laughs> and it only cost like $48 in petrol, <laughs> it's awesome but um, yeah we had big backpacks on just in yeah. case the bike blew up and then we could just hop off and just walk with our backpacks. Far <laughs> out man. But we survived that trip anyway. That's yeah. crazy, that's crazy. It was hectic. Yeah. 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 And you would have looked, you would have looked pretty big. Oh uh, right. yeah, yeah we looked like dumb yeah. and dumber. Like, yeah. but... oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And these guys actually have a podcast as well. What's the What's the podcast called that you have? It is called Reimagine with Sean and Kylie, and it's on Spotify and all of those places. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. And it's called Reimagine because we want to encourage people to reimagine that everything's possible. Yeah. Anything that all you want to do, possible. you yeah. can do it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Love that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. It's really good so to meet cool. you. And uh, thanks for the coffee as well. On that note, if you want to buy me a coffee just like these guys, yeah. I'll put the QR code here on the screen or in the link below. So this is just another way you can support the channel. Cheers. Here's the box, looking good. Oh man, I love my paint. Look at that. Oh. All right, and as I said on the last video, if in doubt, piss it out. I actually don't feel like I need to go, but I'm gonna go anyway, <laughs> so I'll be back. So welcome back to, what's the name of this channel? Um, Gnarly Harley. Oh, Gnarly Harley. Um, <laughs> so it's really good to have you on our channel and he's just going to go to the toilet because you've got to go to the toilet. <laughs> oh, check this out, Dad just gave me cruise control. <laughs> Hell yeah, jeez. <laughs> straight through Coffs Harbour to Nabiak, the motorcycle museum. Let's go. Good Check this out, man. We didn't even know this was here. We were just cruising through. It's called the Golden Dog Hotel Motel. Check it out. It's massive. The Golden Dog, mate. It's pretty big. There you go. How good's that? We're in a bit of a rush. We're um, actually running a bit late for time. We've got to get to Nabiak, so just make that a quick one, but that's pretty cool. It's called the Golden Dog Hotel Motel. How cool is that? All right, we've got to get a move on because we're, we're strapped for time. All right, let's go. Ah, the Golden Dog. That was cool, man. Hell yeah. I didn't even know that was there. I should have done more research. <laughs> Sweet, all fueled up, just highway now, down to Nabiak. Looks like it's gonna rain.
let's go over there. Nearly slipped over. They just turned, man. Look. Oh. oh, I'm actually shaking. It's not even that cold, it's just. What's it say? Oh, no, it's 14, but it's windy as hell and I'm wet as in here. Oh. There's another big motorcycle here, but. At the Nabiak Motorcycle Museum. I feel like my knees are gonna snap off. Oh, another 115 Ks. So yeah, nearly there. I think we've done 750, I'd say, since I left this morning. Got another 115 or so to go. Hell yeah. We're just gonna wait for this because it's um it's coming this way. So as you can see, it's clear there. And then G Dad is waiting at the pub for us. And I'm gonna go get a pub feed and warm up a bit, I reckon. And then hopefully all the rain's gone. Hopefully. <laughs> Here he is, yeah. G Dad. <laughs> Come on, What's going on? Huh? Good to see you again. What's Dude, going on? I'm so cold. I'm trying to keep freaking warm, mate. I'm freezing. freezing. Huh? Well, I'm taking after you. I've got a modular. <laughs> <laughs> I think what do you reckon? Yours doesn't go right, over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catches a little bit. It's not too bad though. Yeah. With the screen on, at least. Yeah. It still goes over. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have a coffee here or what? No, I was just going to Macca's and have it by a record. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, cool. Funny. Off to Macca's. Yeah. <laughs> Filthy Macca's feet. Sounds good to me. <laughs> How's the Indian? Yeah. Soaking wet. Look at this. The Roadmaster. All right, let's go to Macca's. All those clouds passing, but I think there's more coming. I'm gonna put my wet weather gear on because I think it's definitely gonna rain again. I've got me bloody sperm suit on. Check it out, mate. Yeehaw, let's go, baby! Yo, know, the rain don't stop the real riders, mate. <laughs> oh, it just makes us a little bit more depressed. <laughs> I'm half joking, I'm not joking. Oh, I'm half joking. Go. Okay. Ah! I nearly just busted me butthole. Oh, they're a bit tight. Oh. I thought I was gone. I thought I, I, I was gone. I would have had to have been this close to scraping my peg straight. I thought I was gone. What? I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> Dead set. <laughs> That's one of the scariest sides of a bill of motorbike. That was scary. <laughs> oh, what was that man? Like a typhoon or something? I don't know. Okay, so the GoPro just died. Finally made it to Heather Bray McDonald's. 
Oh, Bro, when I told you it was the heaviest and it was the strongest wind I've ever been in my life. That's I'm trying to get. I mean, we're in shock. I can't even talk. The only thing we could do afterwards was kind of laugh out of sheer terror because we thought we we're gonna die. I, co I couldn't even get a chance to film. I got swung all the way right, nearly hit the guardrail, and then swung all the way left, nearly into a car. And I'm surprised I didn't scrape my peg, man, because I'm like this, looking at him, dude. Give us your thoughts on it, Dad, because. I've ridden in Windman, but that was actually terrifying. I couldn't stop laughing. I was so scared. <laughs> what do you reckon? I, I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> that was... Easily nah. moved the whole lane. Yeah. And then tried to correct it and then push him back across the whole lane. <laughs> Is it what you did? <laughs> Holy. That was gnarly. That was gnarly. I've been waiting for this, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice and hot. All right, back into the rain we go. Bloody hell, everything's soaked, mate. About 930 k's or something. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, yeah, we pulled up. Oh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to leave now. Leave again. <laughs> oh, check this out. Um, this is our accommodation for the night, thanks to Gma and G Dad. So we're staying out here in their their Windsor. Um, this thing's like a mansion, bro. Look at this. Dad's already got his stuff in here drying. It's wet. You got a bed up here, the front seats turn around on the motorhome. Full like lounge room really, kitchen, um, yeah, fridge, toilet, shower, and another bed, which is usually the lounge room um, and TV. So, <laughs> how cool. Thanks Gma and G-Dad for letting us stay here. So, it'll be cool. And then tomorrow, um, yeah, we'll be off on uh, camping or in a random motel, depending if it, <laughs> depending on the weather, I guess. But we'll probably still camp. Anyway, today was wild. It was crazy. We're gonna go. I'm gonna have like a coffee or something. Spend some time with the family. Have dinner, all that, and then uh, come back and get everything sorted for tomorrow. I've got to charge some stuff, dry some stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go from there. All right. I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> Dad's a bit triggered. He's uh, <laughs> this is not even funny. I just, I like nervous laughing. His sleeping bag's um, soaking wet. We've got a bit of rain today. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're back from dinner. We went to the, the bowls club for dinner with um, the grandparents. It was um, good food, it's pretty good. But yeah, <laughs> what a day. Far out. So tell us how your day was and your experience. It's the most terrifying ride in the wind, man. I have never experienced wind like that ever. Mm. Dad, Dad said took the front wheel out, so yeah, I was, uh, and it was by surprise because we're just riding along and I saw the wind and the rain swirling, and next thing you know, the bikes just shifted. It felt like a whole lane, but it's probably like a meter and a half, I reckon. <laughs> so yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> Dad it just said. Un uncontrollable laughing because I was like, I've cheated death. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's the only way I could explain it as well. We were both like hysterically laughing. I didn't even know what to do. Cause it was like three or four crosswinds. It was windy you... as soon as it hit that bridge. It was just like, yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't, cause I didn't think I could do anything. Cause it, the bike was like this and it took me to the right, the whole right side of the lane, all the way back left into 
pretty much a car that swift yeah, yeah. or whatever yeah. and then back again and it was back, like they backed off and then yeah oh yeah they were gone straight away they <laughs> on the brakes in 110 zone they're probably going 30 like oh, they it's one of those stories when you look back and go man i'll i'll i never want to do that again but it was memorable yeah mm. yeah we'll yeah. always remember that g dad was there too on his big 400 kilo indian so yeah. oh. he was lucky we were in front that's what he said he said he saw it happen yeah and he was like backed right off yeah. So, yeah 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 he saw us up front like this and then yeah he already backed off so yeah oh <laughs> that was crazy but you, i mean what do you do you can't yeah. if you stop you're standing there in the pouring rain with wind so you just kind of go as well what we thought was safely kicking along but uh, yeah yeah. Would, uh, yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> far yeah um, yeah it's crazy crazy but unfortunately yeah no drone footage for this video so i do apologize but it's too windy it was just so so windy like i couldn't like the drone would just be gone i wouldn't get it back yeah. it would not fly against that wind it'd be gone to narnia. yeah it'd be gone to narnia yeah far out really appreciate y'all watching that's pretty much it from this one nothing crazy in today's vlog but um yeah i appreciate it from <laughs> Do you work at a servo? Yeah. No, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. No, you can't say that. All right, like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you on the next one. You know what, Dad's up there? He's got the blinds. Yeah. He's gonna start playing with his Johnson. <laughs>